What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm going to show you a very cool accessory for your TV if you love watching movies and you want a little bit better movie experience or if you play Rocksmith or Rock Band and you love the visuals but you want to expand those visuals outside your TV, well today I'm going to show you how to set it up, how to connect it to the Google Home and how to connect it to the Amazon Echo Dot. So here it is right here. This is the, I guess, the brains behind the operation. And this is where you plug in the camera, it's USB. It's actually labeled cam, so you know. There's a 3M tape, you just slap this on the bottom middle of your TV. Uh, back here, you have the LED strips plug into here. Uh, your power plugs in the middle. And there's an LED status light right here on top. So I actually did a setup before, this is my second unit. And I tell you, when I play Rocksmith, it actually does enhance the experience playing Rocksmith. If you're interested in the GoV kit, check out the link in the video description below. So right here I have rubbing alcohol and a microfiber cloth. I don't think that one alcohol prep pad is going to work on my TV. It's really dirty and dusty. So I highly suggest getting this if you have a dirty, dusty TV like mine. While you're back there, I'll clean the dust out of the vents because your TV can overheat and then malfunction later on. Now this LED strip is compatible for TVs about 55 inch to 80 inch. My TV is a 52 inch, but I have a big bezel, so I think I'll get away with installing this. Now plug in the LED strips into the port that says LED on the controller and mount the camera on the top middle of the TV and plug it into the port that says cam on the controller. The controller has to be mounted on the bottom middle of the TV. Starting with the right side, you want to put the LED strips on the back right side of the TV first, then the top, and then the left. Use the cable clips to lock down the LED strips and plug in. Once you plug in the power, you'll see a boot up sequence. Then click on the Govi app and add the Govi to your Govi app. I already have one added. We're going to add a new one. Just click on the plus to add a new one. Next, you want to make sure you select the correct model and make sure your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is turned on. It should pop up on the screen. Select the device and customize the name if you want to. I changed it to Smart Govi. And put in your Wi-Fi password to connect. Make sure it's not 5 gigahertz channel. It has to be a 2.4. And next, we're going to calibrate. Make sure the camera is level. And I'm going to move the dots in place. The middle, top middle dot goes on top where the camera is and the bottom corners go to the bottom corners of the screen. It doesn't look like a TV screen, but believe me, it is a picture of your TV screen according to the angle of the camera. That's what the camera sees. You may have to calibrate twice if the camera does not detect the colors on your screen and submit. Now, correction, I, I made a mistake and I think it's a pretty common mistake, so I'm gonna cover it. So enter the uh, Smart Govi, or the one that you set up, and you wanna go ahead and click on gear and calibration. And this is basically what I did wrong. I'm gonna show you. And so when you click on operation, it tells you it should look like similar to that. And what I did wrong is I didn't bring it down to these corners right here. And that goes right there. So it should look like that. And hit submit. And that's how I was doing wrong. To connect to Google Home, simply click on add, select setup, and works with Google. Look for the Govi Home app somewhere near the bottom and select Govi Home 
and put in your email and password that you use to set up the GoV app. Now to connect to the Amazon Echo, select the Alexa app and then select skills. Go to search and type in GoV. And select GoV home app and enable. All right, so let's go back into the GoV app and connecting using the Bluetooth settings on your phone. GoV1 is the old kit. GoV2, the smart GoV, is the new setup. And it's connecting right now. It says connected. And then so we can go turn it on and off right from the app. Or you could turn on and off using Amazon Echo or the Google Home. Hey Google, turn off Smart Govi. Okay, turn off the Smart Govi. Alexa, turn on Smart Govi. Alexa, change Smart Govi to blue. Let's go ahead and change to the music setting. And as you can see, the more I talk, the more it activates. It has a built-in microphone. It's pretty sensitive. And you can change to different themes. Rhythm, energetic as well. And I like rolling personally. So if you have a party at your house, this is a really cool setting. Of course, you could change to different colors. And yellow, green, blue. You can adjust the brightness settings as well. And the DIY is you can make your own setting. You just click on plus, add some colors, and hit apply. I personally don't mess with that. I like video mode. And video mode, you can have part of the screen where it displays different colors on three parts of the screen, top and the two sides. I like choosing all personally and have the setting you can set it at 50% brightness settings of course I have set to 100% and so you can choose different colors of course once again and there's different scenes you can do morning sunset and this is candlelight where it dims and goes bright again if you like tech videos like this and you want more coming your way, click on that subscribe button below and hit that bell notification to stay updated on the